Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. On today's episode, we're going to talk about three licks that'll blow people's minds. Now, I've been posting things on my Instagram, which is Rick Beato one 20 second to one minute guitar improvs. I do them the first thing in the morning. As soon as I wake up, I come into the studio and turn on the amp, turn on the camera, and play the first thing that comes to mind. And it's usually just over one chord. If you can play over one chord, you can play over a hundred chords. You gotta be able to play ideas that really go somewhere. And I don't just mean playing in one scale necessarily, but it's playing really interesting things over one chord. We're gonna break down three licks that I did, three little videos that I did. I'm gonna show you what I was doing. I'm gonna transcribe them and show you what I was thinking when I was playing them. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the concept behind this idea here. I'm using multiple scales or multiple modes. It's called modal mixture over one chord. So we've got this E pedal like this. It's just an E power chord, but I'm playing. That's what I'm thinking over that chord progression. So the first line is C sus two or C add nine over E. So then. D over E, and then, or E over E, right? So, it's more Aeolian to Mixolydian, to still Mixolydian. So the opening line is using this. Using this arpeggio. Then I do the same idea starting on D. So it's this, this pattern. This pattern. So I'm skipping strings here. I start on the A string. I'm going three, five, and then five, seven, five, seven G string, and then three, eight on the high E string. Right there is really where it it grabs your ear. That those big interval jumps. Right there is really where it it grabs your ear. That those big interval jumps when it hits up on this high A and does this. E sus to E major, so I'm playing A G sharp E and then A G sharp. It's a five note pattern. One, two, three, four, five. Then I play. Then I'm thinking like a D add nine with a sus four. Right? So you're hearing this. That chromatic line, but it's displaced by the octave, which is why it grabs your ear. Like, what is that? So it goes. And then. That's me more out of the Mixolydian. Or out of the pentatonic scale. Once again, one, two, three, four, five. So these are all five note groupings. And then the next one is. Like, but it's over E. So you just heard this. Beautiful. So I'm thinking A sus. And then, so that line resolves itself. Right? It's a perfect resolution within, within itself. Down a sixth, down a step, up a sixth, down a step, 
And that's the pattern. It's the same pattern, I'm just moving down the strings. And then I'm going, resolving, right? That's all E sus with the uh, major third. So. Let me play that part with a chord. Let me play the five pattern with a chord. Then I go into this. That's a little trill on the minor third to the ninth. And I do the same thing using the flat six because I'm thinking E, E, I, Aeolian. Now I use the flat nine. Then I use that flat fifth. Then I'm back into E dominant. And I finish out bending from the flat seven up to the root. Let's say you listen to it one more time. Let's take a look at the second example. Okay, that one's based on a C6-9 chord, but using a C Lydian scale. And the first idea starts like this. So it, it surrounds the root like that. Three sharp four, two, seven, one. And then there's an interval jump of a sixth. And then it resolves itself back to the root again. Up to the 13 there. And then we go up the octave to play this. Then I'm going. I'm using that sixth interval jump. So right there, I'm playing those two sets of fours. That gives it that modern feel, right? Then I do that sequence. Then I slide up from the C to A. Then the ending part is another grouping of fives. That's the first one, so major seventh arpeggio, but with the bend up to the... Then this. It's a major seven sus four sound, and then... So I'm doing... I have a sus two there. I do a, a little hammer, grace note, and then... sus9 chord. So this ascending
those kind of lines are the, the things that you want to take away from it. That and then this intro part. <laughs> Anytime you do these octave sequences, it gives your melodic ideas shape because it's a repetition of a certain motif. And then those big interval jumps once again. All those interval jumps. Right? All those six in there. The fourth. Fourth there. Fourth there. Fourth, fourth, fourth. Then that scalar sequence, right? And then back up into, into arpeggiated. There's a D major triad over the C, which gives you that sharp 11 sound. So that, there's a lot of things to take out of that line right there. A lot of different cool shapes and how to use triadic forms, intervals, and scalar lines all in one idea. Let's check out lick number three. Okay, so this is based over a B minor chord. The first chord I play is a B minor 11. And I start out by using a spread triad, B minor spread triad. And I'm pedaling off this F sharp. Like that. Then I go, I do a e, an E sus4 arpeggio there. A sus4. Really beautiful sound there using that. That sus chord there, and going to the ninth of the B minor chord there. And then we move up into this position. I'm seeing this B minor chord here, and I'm playing. That's really that B minor sound again. Beautiful sound. Let me put those three parts together. And then we do an A add 9 arpeggio up to the high D there, okay? So this part is... Let me play it up till there. On this part, I think I'm doing a sweep. It makes sense to do that. And then I play, which is a D major, add nine. And then the ending line is this. Let me play the whole thing slow. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're a new subscriber, remember to ring the bell. Follow me on Instagram. That's where all these videos have come from. That's at Rick Beato one If you're interested in the Beato book, which has ideas like this all through it, you can find it on my store at www.rickbeato.com. And if you want to support the channel even more, think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thanks for watching.